and you're sipping on your coffee this morning, mm -hmm. and as maybe you sip on your coffee, you know there is a lot that goes into bringing you that cup of joe. I learned that firsthand on a recent visit to what many people call the Mothership Coffee Shop in Cincinnati. So here's your invitation to come have coffee at the one and only Coffee Emporium. When the barista calls your name at Coffee Emporium, Michelle, hot chocolate. Rest assured, coffee is quality. From the beans that are fresh from farms in Central and South America and freshly roasted just a few blocks away and over the Rhine. Andy Kusevich is the chief roaster. The beans start out a little greenish color and after some time in the roaster. So we are at a very, very, very light roast right now. You can see the splitting mm -hmm. Might be able to see it budge a little bit, maybe, maybe another 60 seconds. And after a few more minutes, it's ready, that beautiful brown color that we're used to seeing. And it is going to start to cool down from here on out. Nothing like the smell of freshly roasted coffee. Once the coffee is roasted, we will bag it same day, and that coffee will end up in our cafes, uh, getting shipped out to online customers, or in a uh, Kroger probably the next day after we're roasting it. And just like that, the Yuletide blend is ready to go. And what a treat, a tasting with the owners and crew that work so hard to make sure the coffee you get from here is top notch, really good coffee. And it starts on the farm, red berries harvested for its seeds, dried and roasted to perfection. Owner Eileen Schwab says the process, all very intentional. All that matters because we, because People come to us with those expectations, you know, and even though you may not have the time like we, we have been having this morning to be able to, to talk about that, you want to be able to do the right thing. You want to be able to do it in a sustainable, purposeful, intentional way. It's very important to me that we, we remain what the people of Cincinnati have always like wanted us to be and to be there for them and coffee is the great connector. And it's an important piece to have this in our city, you know, to keep it going. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> And I'm happy to have joining me in the studio, Eileen Schwab. She and her husband, Tony, own Coffee Emporium. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. You know, I want to say right off the bat, the Coffee Emporium is really a pioneer in the coffee shop culture thing. How does it feel to, to see all these others popping up? Mm. Well, you know, I, um, I love being in this industry, and I know that there is, you know, like I always say, there's there's room, and as long as they're all, you know, doing the right thing and yeah. supporting, you know, specialty coffee and paying the fair wage, I feel like we want to make coffee the every man's drink, every man, every woman's drink. I think it, I think it is now, and yeah. it's you were doing it before it was cool, so that's what I really like about that. Oh, I was really you. impressed, Eileen, by the process. Oh, you guys gosh. take so much care in the coffee. I mean, what, it's very intentional. Yeah, a purist. You're purist. I yeah, think. and I think that what you what you want to look for is you have to make sure that the taste is there. Yeah. Because you know uh, the opportunity to have this kind of conversation is you know very few, but if it tastes really well, you know if it tastes like really good coffee, people are going to come back. Yeah. And then you have to do the the work of making sure that it's sustainable from an environmental from a, a farming community, right. you know, from a, uh, an economical uh, standpoint too, to the people that we support. Let's talk about what you brought here. Oh the, yes. this, these are mini bags of uh, your yes. coffee. Yes, these are one pound bags, which actually is something that in the industry a lot of people don't do. They usually do a 12 ounce bag, but we actually do 16 ounces. It's one of those things that when you are kind of, uh, you know, when you have that history, it's like that kind of inherits and stays with you. Right. So one of the coffees that I have is the it's out front is the Costa Rican La Manita. That one actually is one of the first pioneers of relationship coffees. That's Bill McAlpin's farm. I also brought with me three uh, of our farmers that we're extremely proud of, and those are women-owned farms. Mm. Because a lot of times, I mean, I have had the opportunity of being in the field. I have had the opportunity of picking coffee. and. It, coffee goes through a lot of hands from yeah. the beginning to the end and into your hands. Right. And most of those people you're standing next to are women. Hey, you, you know, got to put it out there, right? Yeah, so yeah. having women represented in our, in our lineup, in our emporium of coffee, 
has been really, really important. important. I, I love that. Something yeah. else that's really important, you all have a big birthday coming up next year, right? Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, tell <laughs> us about it real quickly. Well, uh, we are going to be celebrating our 50th, and with that comes just all the experience and the ability to, to also sustain during this whole time of all the, now people consider the fourth wave of coffee, right. and how that, how the, you know, the community of Cincinnati has embraced that, and being about just people, social connections. And then Anything then, big planned? Well, I, we are still in the planning stages, okay. but you'll definitely <laughs> see some fabulous coffees, yes. some you know, really good, amazing coffees coming out. And you'll also see you know, some fun merch to be picked up too. So awesome, maybe an anniversary open. blend or something? Yes, well, it'll probably be a straight varietal, but we will definitely let you know. <laughs> okay. I wanna be one of the first to know. All right, Eileen, thanks so much oh, for you. bringing in the coffee for us and for letting me kind of tag along in the process. Oh, that was great fun it's that fascinating. we had. I love yeah. coffee, and so that's, it was yes. a, quite a treat for me. Yes, and yeah, thank you for experiencing it. The roasting house is open. We're roasting, you know, seven days a week, especially now during the holidays. So come right. check us out. Stop in for some coffee.